In today's experiment, we will learn how to measure AC voltage using CRO. CRO means cathode ray oscilloscope. Today we are going to measure AC, AC voltage. AC means alternating current. That means in the circuit, direction of current changing. Why? Because from the power supply, any one terminal is suppose positive so after fixed time interval it will become negative then again positive then again negative it's continuously changing how many times it will change in one second actually it depends on the frequency of AC supply if frequency is 100 for example that means in one second any one terminal will become 100 times positive and 100 times negative. So now we will learn how to measure this type of voltage using CRO. Objective of this experiment is to measure AC voltage using CRO. Apparatus needed in this experiment are CRO, cathode ray oscilloscope, then power supply, in fact AC power supply, then to measure voltage from, from power supply we need voltmeter or multimeter and to connect the circuit we need some connecting wires. We will start our experiment after setting up CRO. In every experiment with CRO First thing, we have to set up CRO. We have learned how to set up CRO in previous experiment. Experiment of DC voltage measurement using CR. So first, after setting up CRO, we can start measurement of AC voltage. That means we can take reading using CRO. And then we will calculate RMS value of AC voltage. RMS means root mean square value. Here the value instantaneous value of AC voltage is continuously changing. So we cannot measure instantaneous value. So here we are going to calculate RMS value of the voltage. After setting of CRO, we will connect circuit to measure AC voltage using CRO. Okay, for that, first thing you have to connect CRO with AC power supply. Now look at this power supply, orange color, color power supply. We have four terminals. Two yellow terminals are for AC. This red and black are for DC. Right? Now we will connect AC power supply. We will connect this yellow terminals with this. We will change this switch to AC. Okay. We will connect two wires with yellow from power supply. Right. Now we will connect multimeter to measure voltage from power supply. Now how to connect wires with this? We know that always one wire will be connected with black socket. Okay black socket here in the multimeter one wire is connected with black another will be with red where we will connect with V we are going to measure voltage now we will adjust or we will select actually AC voltage we have to check for this symbol V okay ACV and we will select 20 volt, volt range why because we in this experiment we are going to take around 10 12 volts so 20 will be enough okay now we will connect this with power supply right because it will measure voltage from the power supply now switch on this power supply and adjust desired voltage in this multimeter okay we can adjust we can start with 3 volt so in the starting i am adjusting 3 volt here Okay, so now look at this multimeter, I am adjusting, 
now we have taken here 3 volt you can see in this multimeter i'll switch on this light so you can see properly okay now we will check the cro screen that zero line okay zero line must be in the middle for that you have to adjust y shift okay after that very important thing is ac dc adjustment button you have to adjust this on ac because in today's experiment we are going to measure ac voltage so pushed up so push that switch to ac okay now release the ground switch right if ground is pressed that means it's zero now if i release there will be a wave sine wave on the screen right it must be that but now i couldn't see anything so what we will do change time base okay change the time base right adjust this time base change slowly increase its value slowly so what will happen on the screen that sine wave will appear right so slowly change this time base after that if you can see that sine wave then you can adjust the height of this wave using voltage gain button yes okay so adjust the height if you change the value height will be changed because we know that this will give you the graph graph of voltage versus time okay so adjust the proper height on the screen right now this height is okay now we have to measure vpp means peak to peak voltage right but it's difficult to measure peak to peak voltage when this wave sine wave is there so what we will do we will switch off that time base so we will take reading in time base off position okay so where is this time base off okay time base button now i will press this so there will be a straight line vertical line if you can't see vertical line then change this setting to extension last button yes now you can see a vertical line now we want to measure the total height of this so adjust this height at the center okay on y axis we can say using y shift and x shift okay so adjust this properly the middle so we can measure right total height that is nothing but the vpp we know that what is vpp so now we will measure this height on the screen starting from 0 0 1 2 3 like that we will measure on 0 1 2 3 4 and 4.3 it's between 4.2 and 4.4 so we will take 4.3 this is nothing but our y division okay so y division is 4.3 now we will write this in our reading this is y gain y gain we have selected 2 okay so we will multiply this two but now we will write reading first we will write reading from multimeter in our multimeter we have taken what we have taken 3 so we will write this here 3 3 volt means reading from the multimeter and y division we have measured 4.3 then y gain what we have selected we have selected here 2 volt per division so in third column we will write this now again i will show you the calculation of ac voltage rms value here in first column we are going to write the voltage from multimeter that means voltage from power supply we have taken 3 volt now this one y division y division is nothing but the reading from the screen of cro we have taken that reading 4.3 4.3 divisions now y gain we have selected 2 volt per division okay volt per division now we will calculate first peak to peak voltage 
from positive peak to negative peak total VPP and formula for VPP is Y division multiplied by Y gain Y division is 4.3 multiplied by this 2 Y gain 4.3 multiplied by 2 I'll write here 4.3 multiplied by 2 we will get 8.6 volt now V0 what is V0 V0 is peak AC voltage okay peak AC voltage or we can call it amplitude so amplitude is VPP by 2 our VPP value is 8.6 so 8.6 divided by 2 we will get 4.3 volt now V RMS RMS value root mean square your value uh, root mean square value of voltage what is that v0 by root 2 our v0 is 4.3 so here vrms is 4.3 divided by root 2 if we calculate this this value is around 3.04 volt so this is our final answer this is experimental value or we can call it value of voltage from CRO. Here we are getting almost similar to this multimeter value. If these two values are similar that means our calculation is correct. Value from CRO is correct. Now we will repeat this procedure for some other voltages we can take 5 volt or 7 volt right then 9 volt 10 volt we can take different values and we will repeat the same procedure so using CRO in this way we can calculate RMS value of AC voltage